Hey all, this is Bill with PhoneScholar.com. I'm talking with Doug Kwan from Verizon Wireless and he's going to tell us about the new 4G uh, LTE phones that Verizon's offering uh, coming out this year. Hello everybody, uh, welcome and I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the uh, four smartphones that we launched uh, yesterday or at least announced in terms of uh, having available in the market um, by mid-2011 time frame. Um, we launched four devices, some of the capabilities are going to be standard across many of the devices are uh, they will all have mobile hotspot uh, capabilities with connectivity up to five uh, devices via Wi-Fi. On top of that they're all 4.3 inch screens. Uh, a few of them have some different screen technologies which we'll go through um, but in essence in terms of display size. Um, obviously all of them running over the Verizon Wireless 4G, uh, nation's fastest and largest broadband network. Um, also we announced uh, that we'll be having Skype uh, video chat available. Um, so all of these devices do have front and rear facing cameras. Um, typically 8 megapixel on the rear, um, typically 1.3 on the front, um, except for the uh, Droid Bionic. So if you'd like, we can go ahead and take a look at some of these devices. Sounds good. All right. Uh, the first one we're going to show here is the Droid Bionic. And hopefully there's uh, some battery life here. So basically, this one is not, oops, apologize. This one is not currently active um, right now. Or charged. <laughs> or charged. Uh, so if we can just move to the next one, maybe I can charge this one up in a sec and we can showcase it to you. I apologize for that. Um, but let's talk, go ahead and talk about the uh, HCC Thunderbolt. Um, so I mentioned many of the capabilities that all of them have. Some of the differences that this is going to have in terms of its Can launch. You turn it on? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's okay. Um, is first of all, it's going to come with, if you're familiar with HTC, um, they have an overlay called HTC Sense. Um, this will come with the Sense 2.0. Um, really what that allows is for a lot of user customizations, um, especially personal preferences, being able to move home screens around, um, being able to change some of the back skins on the different uh, home pages. Uh, on top of that, it's going to come integrated with the Skype uh, mobile video chat into the contacts. Now we're not actually showcasing Skype as a, a formal demo today. Um, we do have a video um, of some of the Vibe Skype that we're showing. Um, but basically what's nice about this is you're going to be able to see from your contacts presence from Skype and be able to initiate a call versus having to go into a different application. So she rotates her phone and frames the picture. When Chris answers on his PC, the video call begins and Jill's picture moves into the picture in picture window. And voila, a Skype video call. To get to the menus, simply touch the screen. I'll keep going, yeah, fine. No, no, I'm saying you can keep going to yours. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so that was the uh, demo of the uh, Skype calling. Uh, what's else nice about this device is it does have the DLNA technology. Um, so be able to wirelessly stream your HD content to, let's say, an HD uh, monitor or TV. Um, you can utilize the DLNA technology. Uh, and then one of the, the uh, things that make it a little bit different as well is we obviously know these devices are very... Uh, one of the biggest purposes media and the opportunity there. This actually has a kickstand on the back so you can open it up and you can actually watch let's say a movie or a video and behind the kickstand is actually a Dolby surround sound speaker uh, from that perspective. So you can see a little bit about the HTC. Next we'll go ahead and move to the Samsung and this is the Samsung, currently it's being called just the Samsung 4G uh, smartphone today. Um, some of the benefits, on, once again I mentioned the mobile hotspot, Skype, uh, 4.3 inch screen, 4G network. Uh, but some of the differences in this device in terms of some of the others we're launching is this has the Super AMOLED Plus screen. Um, so if you're familiar with some of the screen technologies from Samsung, basically what this is doing is it's adding 50% more subpixels onto the screen, giving it more vibrant colors, sharper image, as no. well as better viewing in terms of outdoor light. Oh, no. so, uh, so. Don't worry about it. I make mistakes all the time. So okay. that's, no, that's, just, that's part of my video. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Uh, so basically uh, you can see the screen resolution being very crystal clear uh, from that perspective. Um, Samsung's also going to have the, kind of their own application um, called Samsung Social Hub and social media and basically that's a single area where you can kind of manage your pictures, video uh, and those types of things. It also does have the HDMI out um, so if you didn't have a, an HDMI cable uh, and you wanted to, to put it out to an HD TV you can actually uh, show your content uh, from that perspective. Okay, And that's the uh, Samsung 4G phone. Next we will move to the LG Revolution. 
um, the LG. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention is is all of these devices that I've shown you so far um, all have one gigahertz processors, um, so a lot of power processing for gaming and those types of things. Um, but this is the LG Revolution, and um, this is actually a very nice device as well. Um, some of the things that's great is it will come with the DLNA technology as well. It also have the HDMI out. It also have Bluetooth 3.0 um, available. So some of the advantages to that is going to be um, improved power management, um, improved security in terms of being able to utilize Bluetooth to transfer media and those types of things. Um, has the Skype. You know, we can kind of show you a sample of the uh, front-facing camera. Let's see. Uh, actually, I don't think the camera's loaded on this one, so we can take a look. Camera. And so we mentioned the front and rear-facing cameras, so that's obviously the rear-facing camera showing it to you. And then you switch it. And there's Bill. Hey! <laughs> so that would be the front-facing camera that would be shown for a video chat. Okay. You want to take a break for the next one? Can I?